Hello, hi everyone. As you can guess, in today's video we'll talk about the Knight Rider effect. If you have followed the previous videos, you will have a blinking application where all the digital pins are working as a write effect um, and turning on and turning off the LEDs. To create the Knight Rider effect, we have to modify a bit the original code where we will have two loops. One is serving from right to left, that will be our first loop, and the other loop will serve from left to right. And in the first loop we have to turn each pin on and off with a small amount of delay, and that will create the right to left direction of the Knight Rider effect. Let me add to the comment section the direction just for the reference. And between the two loops, let's add some delay just as a wait time and after then we will test out, see how that is working and then copy the first loop, modify a bit and we will have almost our Knight Rider effect done. If you see, once the looping is ending, it is waiting on half a second, 500 milliseconds and that, that's enough to have some, some wait time, some delay. And let's create now the other direction from left to right. If we are copying the first loop, we, what we have to modify, since we are not go, uh, going from pin 1 to pin 13, the direction is inverse. So we are coming from pin 13 to pin 1, and we have to modify the loop as, as minus minus, so we, we need to go down to the pin 1. And we will add the, the delay at the end of, of the code, and theoretically that should be it. And we have our Knight Rider effect already done. But wait here, don't click it out. Because what happens if you want to modify the wait time? You don't want to wait uh, on the loop it's ending. You want to use directly or you want to increase the wait time. So you can declare uh, a variable as a wait time and change the delays with that variable as, as a as a general and it won't won't wait over there and what if if you want to change the speed of of the led turning on and off actually the frequency of uh, of the turning on and off the leds so you can also declare a new variable which is a speed variable you can give a number as 100 let's use 100 as reference And you won't see any change because we are using the same variables. But what if you if you want to use um, a, a bigger delay and a smaller speed? You will have a more frequent, your sampling rate more, will be more frequent. And you can play with those numbers. So uh, it, it, what, it depends what is your need, what what do you like, uh, it, it, based on that you can adjust the variables. So thank you for watching the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and we will see you in the comment section below. Have a nice day.